Okay, we're gonna take a look at actually importing files um, in Python. So we have our main pi here, and essentially Python runs by running this main pi file. I'm gonna add another file, and I'm gonna call it number one. Okay, and I'm gonna okay dot pi. Okay, and what reason for that is because I want this to also be run in Python. This file, I want it to know that it's a programming file using the Python language. Um, what we want to do in our main pi is we actually want to call the other file, okay? So we're going to call the other file from our main pi, uh, our main pi file. Um, so we're going to use the function called import, import, okay? And I actually just got to take the name. I don't have to put in the suffix at the end, dot py. So I'm going to say call number one, okay? Now, number one actually has to have a set of instructions. So I'm going to say print. I am file one. Oh, so creative. Oh, I put an extra bracket in there. Didn't need it. Okay, great. So when you go to run this, okay, I am file one. Okay, great. But you haven't proven to me that the program just didn't read the main file and say, oh, not much there. Let's go to this one. So what I'll do is I'll build another one. We'll call it number two. Okay, it's also going to be a Python uh, file. And very similar to what we have over here, we are going to put in here I am file two. Okay. Now, if we took at the main pile, I'm actually only importing number one. So actually, let's change it to two just to have some proof here. Okay. So in other words, it's not going to do anything with the first one that says I am file one. It's going to print out I am file two, or at least it should. So you go to run, and that's what happens. It goes to main pie. Main pie reads the instruction import number two, which is my second file. Number, uh, file called number two, and it prints out or runs the instructions in that one, completely skipping this one here. In fact, I could put uh, a type of conditional statement, or I could say, you know what, import one and then import, or sorry, number two and then number one, and it'll run it in that order. I'm file two, I'm file one, okay? Or I can set up a, some kind of a conditional in here. So if x uh, is greater than, oh my gosh, that thing, there we go. If x is greater than five, okay, import two, okay, else, ooh, caps lock, sorry about that, else, x, go up, tap in, there we go, import file one, okay, so in my mind, my main pile, I gotta give x a value, x is greater than X is six, so it should be greater than five, so it should import our file called number two, which says I am two. Oh, I forgot my colon, I apologize. Take a quick look, there you go, I am file two. And we change X, let's change it to number one, and instead from main pile, it makes this conditional statement, it says, oh, actually we're gonna import file one. So this is a nice way of actually breaking it up so your main file is relatively clean, right? And instead of having put the algorithms of our other files, we run all of our algorithms in these files and we just import those algorithms from that, okay? So this can be really helpful for keeping our code kind of clean uh, instead of having one page with so many different things.